What's up gamers? We're back with another Marvel Future Fight video and I'm very excited because the new patch is out right now and I'm going to unlock Daisy Johnson, otherwise known as the Inhuman Quake. Very cool. And I'm going to take her up to about level 22 and test her out in one of these stages right here. I'm pretty excited about this. I already got Coulson. I'm going to get Quake and then I'm going to work on the other three very quickly, probably by the end of the day. But right now, let's just load her up with some chips. And we're going to do it real quick and get her up to 22. Very cool. The reason why I like to go over 20 is that way I can get the ISO 8 set bonus all done for her. And I just got too many chips anyways. Very cool. All right, after this, let's look at her mastery ability. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, let's see, we got tremors. Let's see. Activate while attacking with a 10% rate. All team members generate a physical she shield with 10% maximum health. Very cool. I actually like that ability very much. Uh, that's a pretty cool one. I don't mind that one at all. And it looks like she is Blast as well. So that's very cool. Blast is probably my favorite. Um, there was uh, some question that she was going to be blast and combat and i don't know what that is but it looks like she's just straight blast as far as i can see okay let's go into our iso 8 set bonus and what do we've got grip weak grasp weak point activate ratio while attacking five percent rate i'll attack five percent all right whatever and let's see what iso 8 i've got Ooh, energy attack hmm let's see what she is first oh she's both Ah, this just kills me to do this. All right, well, let's just load up this uh, red one for now. Okay, and then blue. Let's see, all defense. And then green. We've got to do an all defense one as well. Oh, all ah, green one. Well, I've got a lot of them. I guess I'll just do that one. Normally, I don't like using my green ones. I like saving from other things for my heroes when they're way up there. Very cool. All right, we already looked at her skills it looks like they're a combination of physical and energy, which makes it a little bit more difficult to do her gear because we have to do all attack rather than just physical or whatever like that. So looks like she's predominantly energy attack. So I guess that's not so bad. All right, we're going to gear right here. And hopefully I have all these parts to get her all the way up to eight. Uh, I've been hoarding parts lately just for this reason and I was able to take Phil all the way up to eight, but I think I should be able to take her up to eight as well. Let's see how it goes. And they made this screen easier. You can see in the background, I'm actually taking up parts as we go through, and I had no problems there going all the way up to eight, it looks like. Won't be able to go any further than eight because her level cap is maxed out. Now, let's see. We're gonna have to change pretty much all of her her first two, her last one is fine, but we just want to do all attack in this slot right here. So I'm going to change. We're looking for all attack. Keep going. Very cool. Ah, this takes forever. I have to say big money, big money, no whammies. And we've got the orange ring of death there momentarily. Okay, keep going. I'm really excited about this patch. I'm planning on getting all five characters as soon as possible. I just, you know, got to collect them all, right? <laughs> all attack. Very cool. All right, let's go into the second slot and do all attack there. And we'll be done with it. But we want all attack in all these slots here. And then we'll move on to her armor right after this. Come on, give me all attack. Very time-consuming and expensive at times. At least I got the third slot all attack, so I don't have to switch that around. So it's not so bad, actually. And we just want to get this all attack. Big money, big money, no whammies. Come on, show it to me. No orange ring of death. That is horrible. We don't want the orange ring of death. Oh, my God. And there's probably... I think there's a quake suit and a deathlock suit and... It looks like the Quake suit is, or the Deathlock suit is really good. I'm hoping that he is really good. I just like that guy. But I don't know. I didn't really like her suit bonus, which was like mind resistance. Uh, that's so useless. But 
The Deathlock suit looks like it had a pretty significant damage boost, which I thought was pretty exciting. Okay, and I'll be sure to do a Deathlock review here shortly. But right now, we're just going to try to do Daisy Johnson Quake. Come on! She's an inhuman. So that's very cool. All right, physical attack. We don't want that. We want all attack. Come on. Ah, oh, I want to see how she fights. Cool. All right, now we get to go right in here. We're going to, I think I, hopefully I have enough parts to take her all the way up to eight. I really like that they fixed this screen so that you don't have to go out and go out. We can just do it real quick. But it looks like they did not fix the orange ring of death, which is annoying. And on this one here, we're going to want everything to be all defense. We do not want inner defense by level or energy defense and definitely not physical. It looks like she's primarily an energy defense character, but we want it to all be all defense. That is the way to go. And I do have enough parts, it looks like, so far because I went on a monster stockpiling and we're done with that we got to change option so we're gonna have to change all three to all defense all right very cool all right come on give me all defense not energy defense you know i'm inclined to leave the energy defense by level just for the sake of the video that is not the worst option right there all right because in the first slot it matters what her primary hero type is, so that is fine. Normally, I would just go through and make these all defense, but energy defense by level is not the worst, and we're just going to do that one there. All right, change. Come on, you're going to suck up all my money. It's a good thing those tickets I was able to trade in for a thousand apiece. I was almost able to get three, four hundred thousand, which I needed. I really wasn't thinking about money when I upgraded my Iron Man for like a million last night. Awesome! All defense. Okay. This one right here. Hopefully I've got enough to get all the way up to 8. And HP by level is the best in the first slot. And the next slots after that, they just want to be straight. HP is the way to go on those. It's kind of a no-brainer. So we're doing the upgrades here right now. The good thing they're not very expensive initially. The recovery rate and dodge, we're going to have to change those and we've got her up to eight very cool change option so right here the only thing we want is hp in the very first slot you can go hp by level or hp and hp is the best but i'm not that picky on that one either way this one fine wow so lucky did it very quickly okay last slot here and i've said this many times in my videos i don't know what to do on this fourth slot defense sanitation seems to be my favorite but it really doesn't seem to make much of a difference at all. And so I just take whatever in this last slot. And boy, I have, I am so glad that I stockpiled all of these parts. You can see in the background that I've got like 36 of five. I just stockpiled everything. And then here when the fifth gear slot is available on level 30, I probably put the dodge one that is found inside of the Iron Fist missions. All right, I think we're ready to go. We've got her outfitted, probably as good as she can be for level 22. And let's take a look at her team bonuses because we want to see who she matches up for very well. And we're going to do it like that. Team Coulson. Wow, that looks like the team we're going to use right there. All attack across the board, all defense. Looks like she has a bonus... Oh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, she might... This other one might be better, right? Secret War number two. Because it looks like there's a dual one right there with... Uh, uh, Spider-Man and Black Widow. I don't know. Let's do the second one right there. I think that'll be better because it looks like we're going to get a couple bonuses there. Secret War number two. Level 10 security clearance, and there we got our six-star heroes. Okay, very cool. We got our mastery, which gives her a physical shield when she goes into battle. And let's find the best place to test her out. I kind of like doing these bonus missions right here. Uh, level 30, she might struggle a little bit, but let's do it just anyways, just because. 
and Spider-Man and Black Widow can rescue her if that is the case. Let's turn autoplay off. Let's take it like this first one here. Looks like she's doing... Whoa! She just blew up a whole bunch of people. Let's do this, this one right here. Wow, she's got some really good clearing right there. Look at that. Everybody just gets blown up right there. Very cool. All right, let's do that again. Boy, I like that that slot all the way to the left. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. And it looks like she's got her shield activated we were talking about. I like those shields. Very cool. Boy, she actually is taking care of these level 30 heroes like it's not a problem at all. She, I like blast heroes. I really do. They're my favorite class by far. And she's not having any difficulty whatsoever going through these level 30 heroes. They're just blowing up. I'm going to hit the purple button right here. <laughs> awesome. Looks like everybody just went through right there. All right. What is that right there? Her shield is up right now. So she is not taking damage. She's just absorbing. That's very cool. Wow. This is... Uh, I like her a lot. All right. Truth will be told later when we find out when I play her, and of course, in Team Up, when she gets up to level 40, 4 star, that's when you can kind of start evaluating if the characters are good or not in the Team Up mode. Anyhow, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.